So we got an unexpected release. This one wasn't supposed to be coming out or anything, but I ended up finding a decan of it, a 10 milliliter. And as you guys know, I like to review things as quick as I can possibly get them in. Uh, so this one was one that everybody was looking forward to. At least I was. I know a lot of my subscribers were as well. Today we're going to be doing our first impressions. Just got it in about an hour ago by YSL. It is called Myself. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on my great smelling dudes welcome back to my channel my name is randy aka fragrance dude back with another fresh release in 2023 and finally a brand new line at least from what i think um so with that said before we get into the video make sure to slap that subscribe and like button also hit me up on instagram and tiktok under the name fragrance dude and then hit the bell if you want my video sooner so <clears throat> so this fragrance uh was announced about i think it was about three or four weeks ago um, usually what happens is whenever designers announce it, they wait about two weeks, then they release it in Europe or their home country, and then they ship it off to the rest of the world. Well, I found this decant. It was the last one. So unfortunately I can't tell you where I got it. It was the last one. But with that said today, we're, we're going to be talking about, uh, before I do tell you what it is, obviously, which I already did. Um, I heard from a few of my subscribers kind of what it smelled like and most of them were pretty across the board the same and that is a fresher more unisex version of this ysly lay parfum so i sprayed that on my right arm so i'm going to let you guys know if that is any way similar all that good stuff but today we are going to be talking about a brand new release and from what i understand is a brand new line by ysl it is myself that is m-y-s-l-f uh, which is setting them up for kind of a lot of puns on videos, kind of like this. And so inside this little decant, this is just, I mean, obviously I don't have the box. Uh, once I try this out, if I like it, obviously I'll get a box, do a full review. If not, I'll do the full review with this decant because it is 10 milliliters and I can't get it out of the, the damn box. Probably gonna have to rip this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice looking decant. I actually like the like taller decants, but it says why I sell myself on it. Uh, this is a 10 milliliter and it's an eau de parfum for anybody that doesn't know what uh, the concentration was. There we go. I always found that in order to get the best feel on a first impression, you wanna spray it three to four times. If you only spray it once or twice, it doesn't really give you the full, yep, okay. It has that YSL Y late parfum right off the bat. It's definitely not exact, but I can definitely tell you it has that YSL Y late parfum DNA. Yeah, it's definitely not exact. So now I can see why some people were saying, I don't know if it's a new line or if it's like a line off of a line, but this is definitely based on the bottle, which obviously I'll put there or there. I didn't really like the bottle. Um, kind of looked feminine to me. I wasn't really a big fan of the bottle based on the look of it. Maybe it'll look different in person and feel better in my hand, but we will see. But so this how it opens up. It's definitely brighter and fresher, definitely brighter and fresher than what you get with Le Parfum, which if you guys don't know what Le Parfum smells like by the YSL Y line, it is pretty much a sweeter, semi-darker version on the YSL Y DNA, that aromatic clary sage and apple, a little bit of lavender, but then you add some tonka bean, some warmer woods. That is what you get with that fragrance. It's your more night out style fragrance. It's like a sweet aromatic feel. Uh, people sometimes compare it to like the Ralph's Club line where it has a bit of that sweetness mixed with the woods and the aromatics, very similar. I think it's the best one on the line. This one, definitely nice. Uh, so in the opening here, you definitely, I remember there was one note because I had to explain what vert bergamot meant. And so there was green bergamot. It's the only other thing I remember that was in this uh, note breakdown. But in the opening here, you almost get like the YSL Y Le Parfum freshened up with that bergamot, green bergamot mixture that almost gives you a little bit of like a tart candy-like sweetness that almost is kind of like YSL Y Le Parfum mixed with or freshened up 
and add in this like almost sweet tart vibe, like sweet tart candy vibe. Yes, this is actually quite nice. I still think that at least based on the opening, I prefer the Le Parfum. Um, there's definitely a little bit of aromatic tones in here. It's that sweet aromatic tone mixed with the green bergamot. It does have that Y vibe though, uh, which is kind of confusing because to me, as one of the top like five designer brands out there, I think YSL, if they're gonna come out with a new line, then I think it should be something completely different than the other one. Kind of like how Lome and La Nuit de Lome, even though they're two different fragrances, they have similarities, very small similarities, but similarities. That's kind of the way it is here. It's just they're a little bit closer than similar. Um, so this is kind of like a medley between like Ralph's Club EDP and the Le Parfum. It has a little bit more of a synthetic tone than the Le Parfum does. Um, as far as performance projection so far, it feels like it's pushing out uh, pretty nicely. I would say around uh, three to four feet. It's not going to be anything that's like a heavy hitter like the Eau de Parfum and the Y line. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry down, give it about, I don't know, half hour, and then I'll come back and let you guys know if it has changed on me, what I think about it, all that good stuff. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. It has been 40 minutes, and why I saw why myself, I went down to the dollar store, decided to come back. It's been 40 minutes. Has it changed on me? What do I think about it? Well, uh, I almost said why I saw why myself, but it's why I saw myself. And I can tell you, it should probably be in the Y line. It smells like there is some Y DNA definitely in here. Um, so everybody who told me that is definitely correct. I think there might be a little bit of like a cardamom slash ginger mixture in here as well. Um, Cause it also feels like it's almost like you took like La Nuit de Lome and mixed it together with, with YSL as it started to dry down. Um, there was like a little bit of a warm spiciness coming into it with that aromatic tone and some sweetness. But um, it's definitely a mixture of a bunch of things. And if maybe what they were trying to do is blend the Y line with like the LMDL line or the Loam line, it feels like it's doing something like that, at least here in the dry down. Uh, so in the opening, again, it started off as a fresher version of YSL Wiley Parfum with this candy-like tart, sweet tart vibe that was coming from the tartness of that bergamot and green bergamot mixture, um, maybe with a little fruity tone in the background, and then some aromatics. Uh, as it started to get about five to ten minutes into the fragrance, you started to notice even more of that YSL Le Parfum, Y Le Parfum DNA, that kind of like sweet aromatic and tonka almost mixture. Uh, definitely that in here. But again, as it's starting to dry down, now that we're at 40 minutes, there is a vibe of almost like the loam slash LNDL style line, where it feels like there's a little bit of that cardamom, um, maybe a little bit of ginger. I don't know what they're trying to do with this line, but it definitely smells like other YSLs. You'll know what this smells like as soon as you smell it. I told somebody um, about 10 minutes ago, this smells like some fragrance exactly that I can't put my nose on. Like I can't put my finger on it. It smells exactly like one niche fragrance that I've tried before and I can't remember what it is. Uh, with that said, this fragrance does smell really good. This is a good release of the year. It's just if you're looking for something that's breaking the bank and doing something completely different, changing it up, going unique, it's not doing that. It legit really smells to me like you are mixing the different lines from YSL and putting them together, having some aromatics, some sweetness, a little bit of warm and spiciness, um, and some woodiness. There is ambroxifen or something like that in this fragrance, which is just a form. I had to look it up. Still not clear, but it, I feel like it's a form of ambroxin providing this bright, warm woods, which it seems like there is that in this. Uh, more as you dry down, but... As we're drying down, it is getting almost a little bit of like this cardamom LNDL style vibe on my skin. So I'm telling you, it's kind of, I don't know what they were trying to do. If that was the perfumer's idea, it was to take the Le Parfum DNA and mix it together with one of those. But I'm going to really be excited to see because it is a very interesting fragrance. Both of those lines are very good. So if we get into the dry down on my full review and it has changed, I'll definitely let you guys know that. Usually what I do is I come back in about a week and a half or two 
and let you guys know full review. Again, de depending on how this dries down, I will be picking up a bottle if it's available. If not, I'll just do my full review with this. And then when I get a bottle, I'll obviously t toss it in a list here or there. But right now, I would say it's definitely an eight out of 10. Um, I'm gonna have to let it grow on me, but the opening is definitely very nice. Projecting around a level of an Eau de Parfum, not the YSLY Eau de Parfum, but um, that's a pretty heavy projector and hard to beat. So YSL, myself, uh, very weird name, but altogether a really nice smelling, very mass appealing, fresh, clean fragrance. Again, just to sum it up, the opening 40 minutes really just reminds me of a fresher, more unisex version of YSLY Le Parfum that slowly dries down into this kind of YSLY Le Parfum mixed with a little bit of the either LMDL or Loam line. It feels like it's either that ginger cardamom mixture. It's a warm spiciness that's coming through. Um, definitely getting better as it dries down as well. I still really like it. So I'm not gonna keep you guys here all day. Again, I'll be back in a week or two. I'll, if you want an updated version on my live on Sunday, I'll let you know. Um, obviously that's just for the people who join my lives. So I'll let you guys know an updated um, thought on this fragrance, but so far so good with YSL myself, again, not breaking the bank, but still for what it's doing, it's very mass appealing, very fresh, very nice unisex vibe, very good release by YSL. So thank you guys so much. Let me know if you've tried this before. If not, if you're excited about it, and again, I'll be back with another one. Thanks so much. Peace out.